I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the slippery elm. Slippery elm, Almus rubra, is a graceful, arching, deciduous tree that has been widely valued for some of the medicinal properties of the inner bark. It is also known as red elm. It is a member of the Almaceae family, which is comprised of about 18 to 19 genera and over 150 to 200 species of the temperate regions of both the northern and southern hemisphere. Only four genera are found in the United States. It is a medium-sized tree that typically grows 60 to 70 feet tall and 18 to 30 inches in diameter. It is a moderately fast-growing tree that can live to about 200 years. It resembles American elm in general appearance, except it tends to have a taller, clear trunk and the branches and twigs are less drooping. Slippery elm is found throughout the eastern United States into the Midwest. It grows best in moist, rich soils of lower slopes and floodplains. It can also grow on drier hillsides with limestone soils. It is seldom found in pure stands and is usually mixed with other deciduous trees throughout its wide range. It is classified as shade tolerant, and slippery elm is susceptible to Dutch elm disease like the American elm, as well as elm yellows and phloem necrosis. The leaves of slippery elm are deciduous, alternately arranged on the twig, and simple in form, as you can see in the photo. They are ovate to oblong in about four to six inches long and typically two to three inches wide. The leaf margins are coarsely serrated and the base of the leaf is unequal, as you can see in the photo. They are dark green above and very rough, almost like sandpaper. The underside is paler and also scruffy. The twigs are stouter than American elm and more pubescent. Fall color is a golden yellow. Slippery elm is monoecious, meaning that a tree will have both male and female flowers, and the flowers are small and relatively inconspicuous. They are usually lightish green or reddish and in tight clusters of three to five. They bloom before the leaves appear in early spring and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a small round papery samara that is about three fourths to one inch across. While the seeds are small, they are larger than the other elms. The seeds ripen quickly between April and June, depending on location. They are wind dispersed and trees begin seed production around 15 years of age and will have large seed crops every two to four years. The bark of slippery elm is reddish brown and can be distinguished from American elm bark because it does not have the layered buff colored streaks. The bark is fissured but not diamond shaped. The ridges are more parallel and often, coarsely, often into coarsely scaly plates. The inner bark has a gelatinous consistency and it is somewhat aromatic. Slippery elm is considered inferior to American elm wood, but it's often sold as soft elm. It is relatively hard and with strong with reddish brown heartwood. The sapwood tends to be paler. It has interlocking grain, which makes it resistant to splitting, and it's rated as non-durable and susceptible to insect attack. Slippery elm seeds and buds are eaten by a variety of birds and small mammals, including American goldfinch, Baltimore oriole, and chickadees, as well as rabbits, possums, and squirrels. The slippery elm is also one of the hosts for the morning cloak butterfly larva. The twigs are browsed by rabbits and deer, and the tree provides thermal cover and nesting sites for several primary and secondary cavity nesters. Slippery elm wood is used for boxes, furniture, and wood pulp. The inner bark is edible and has long been used to soothe irritated mucous membranes and is still produced commercially for over-the-counter sales. As of 2021, the National Champion Slippery Elm is located in Jefferson County, Kentucky, so it's also our state champion. This tree can be found at the Masonic Home of Kentucky. It is 282 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall, with an 82 and a half foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry National Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about slippery elm. The common name is from the gelatinous or slippery inner bark, and its other common name of red elm is from the reddish heartwood. Reportedly, the yolk of the Liberty Bell was made from slippery elm wood. The wood has sometimes been used to make bows for archery. 
The scientific genus name Ulmus is the ancient Latin name for the elm, and the species name Rubra is from Latin and means red, which refers to the color of the heartwood. Thank you for joining me today to learn about this native elm, and I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood, and enjoy the slippery elm.